massive. And take. <laughs> no, <I'm joking>. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Colossians 1 verses 15 to 20, somewhere in that mix, it speaks about a God so spacious as he, that everything fits together in its proper place without crowding. And if you look at other scriptures, other versions of that scripture, you'll find other translations speaking about vibrant harmonies in which all of these created objects and created life forms exist within the Godhead, within his sustaining energy. I think every time I heard that phrase, vibrant harmonies, and so spacious to see, I always imagined a physically large containment unit where everything is just living and breathing and just doing life and is being sustained by the very word and presence of God, um, which realistically is what the world is like. The world is being breathed into existence by his thoughts. He's holding it all like this. It's his footstool that we live on. So to depict a God that is that gigantic, to depict the God that's that transcendent of everything that we have the capacity to experience or even think about. The songs have to be big. You have to declare it and you have to declare it with size and not just do you declare it with size, um, but the music follows. And I think we tried to, Neil did a phenomenal job in trying to depict that in songs like Fix Our Eyes. I don't know if you hear the orchestral arrangement that follows that, the French horn, the accompaniment of brass instruments, the electric guitar solos, all of it is massive. The drums, we worked for days to try and find the right snare that would just fit such a gigantic sound. I've said that word so many times. To fit such a monstrous sound um, for what God is like. Um, but then in the same sense, Songs like You Are the Potter brought it right down into the realm of the acoustic guitar and cajon. And I feel like that speaks about the intimacy and the vulnerability of lying down and confessing, you know what, God, uh, um, I really don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are the potter. I am the clay. Your ways are so much higher than mine, and I don't need to fake it and pretend like I'm more than I am in your presence. So I feel like all the songs on the album, they depict a different dynamic of experiencing and walking with God, which I enjoy because we're not, it's not biased in how it delivers the truth. It handles it to more or less an equal level that God is this gigantic, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent God who is without human understanding, but in the same way, he's also imminent and that he's within human understanding and he can be known, and not just can he be known, but he wants to be known. It's not like we set out necessarily to write massive songs, mm. um, but just a lot of the themes deal with God as just so huge and so sovereign and so, you know, he sits in, in the heavens and the earth is his footstool. It's like, you can't really, s if we want to do justice to statements like that, we were very grateful, even for the people God brought together, a guy like Neil who produced the album, who had a whole horn section, you know, uh, recording on a, on a lot of the songs. Um, because we feel that the, the music must also support the message of the songs. But that said, all of the songs I feel also can work with just somebody on an acoustic guitar, which for me is is kind of the test of a, of a song as well. As we, we also want to serve congregations, which, I mean, we don't even have a horn section in our, in our church. Yes. So. <laughs> this is an advertisement. <laughs> Uh, so we, we know that it's um, a lot of the sounds won't necessarily be reproducible every Sunday, but what, why should that stop us from trying to, in every way that we can, glorify God with the biggest sound that we can have, just to see, can we have even a little taste of just how big He is? Can we have even just a small glimpse of how massive He is? And we know obviously that our music can't, can't compare to Him. Um, that at least maybe this side of eternity we're seeing in part and we know him in part and we want to we want to give we want to do that to that to the utmost. That's my worship pastor, yo. Yeah.